That is a very nice egg. It, it's going to be very, very pretty. And that color is so dense, this flashlight doesn't even shine through it. <laughs> Alrighty everybody, here is what we wound up with and these piles probably look a lot bigger on the camera than they are in actuality, but yeah. So that is all Jasper. These are rocks I just thought were cool. I'm going to do a carving out of this one. These are all agates. These are all pieces of petrified wood. Some cool calcite clusters. These are all fossils. That one I've, I'm going to be getting some close-ups on because there are some huge baculites in that one. And yeah, it, I collected more than I normally would. And the reason for that is when that 1,000 subscriber giveaway starts up, you guys are going to be winning a lot of what you're seeing right now. I'm going to go through and clean stuff up. And I will be back when I get through cleaning all of these. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and clean off all of these shells. I'll pick a nice one to polish so you guys can see why I'm so excited about it. See, when you get everything laid out side by side, instead of an, in a big pile, it's a lot less than it looks like. But man, oh man, there is some wonderful stuff in here. All my shells. So I'll go through and get some close-ups of the nice ones. But this is all the Jasper. That is petrified wood. These are fossils and calcite pockets. And then those are the agates. And man, there is some very nice stuff in here. Like I said, I'll go through and get close-ups in just a minute. Here's all of the shells that only had one half. And then here are all the shells that have both halves. Haven't gone through and cleaned all of the ones with two halves yet, but I will. And yeah, there's some great stuff in here. Before I go ahead and get close-ups on all of the stuff though, I wanted to show before and afters on this piece. This thing is so amazing. So, from here to here, that is a baculite, and that is a big baculite. I don't know, here one sec, you can see a little bit of suture peeking through. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. And when I do this, it probably doesn't look very big, but I'm 6'4 and have spider hands, so that is a lot bigger than it looks like. <laughs> Here, one second. Here, that ought to be a better demonstration. That's like a 9-inch long baculite. I was looking at it, though, and as if, it, as if it wasn't cool enough already, rotate it around. There's another baculite right there. And the sutures are just amazing on this. It's mostly replaced with calcite, so those sutures are going to show off very well. Alright, so we're going to let those all dry out for a minute. So in the meantime, I grabbed out two of those muscles. And I'm going to polish them up so you can see why it's so exciting. <laughs> get up closer in just a sec I just wanted to show you how pretty these things are the camera's not picking up the color fully but this has just got rainbow all over it there. showing it a little bit better just gorgeous stuff and these are super thick so that is like perfect for what I need them for. I'm 
And once you get into them, it's hard to believe that this and this are the same thing. Like the transformation. <laughs> no, I mentioned in the other video that I get so excited when I find these because I use them a lot for jewelry and inlay in my woodworking, but what I didn't mention is that my dad is actually a luthier, uh, which is just someone who makes stringed instruments, specifically he makes guitars, and this stuff right here is prime mother of pearl inlay material for guitars, you know, fretboards and whatnot, so he always gets happy when I bring him some of these. Here, maybe this will show that color a bit better. Looks like it is. These things are just crazy beautiful. Something interesting about nacre, so nacre is more commonly referred to as mother of pearl, it's that what causes that colorful pearl essence and that's it's what makes up the shell and shells that are made up of nacre are actually aragonite. The reason you get that color play is it's light refracting off of microscopic hexagonal crystals of aragonite. And that right there should tell you why I love shells so much, because they're all basically rocks. Because the ones that aren't made of aragonite are made of calcium. More specifically, calcite. Alright, but now that that is done, I'm going to go grab that fossil so we can check it out. That is such a nice baculite. thing is just huge. I don't think my camera is going to pick it up very well, but there's so much color. That pearl is gorgeous. Speaking of nacre, <laughs> got this big one right here. Looks like there's another one underneath it. You can see a little bit of that shell there. There's, looks like what was an oyster right here. You can see the edge of another baculite right here. And if we flip it around, here, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Nope. Here's that one on the back side, underside, I guess I should say. Look at those sutures. Here, I can get it wet so you can see a little better. This is one beautiful piece. That is awesome. So pretty. Definitely let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing me tackle this one because it's going to be a process for sure. Alrighty, I brought over some water and my flashlight, so let's start looking at some of these. This is a very cool jasper. Here, let me get it wet. Let's see, it's very pretty. All that red in there. That's going to be fun to work with. And then, where's some other good ones. Here's one pretty little yellow jasper. I love this piece of chert. I know it's not jasper but still so pretty. So much going on in there. Love the clear pockets in this one. Gorgeous little jasper. Alright let's move on to petrified wood. I love this piece. All these veins are agate and it is just so cool. It is an awesome piece. Here's another one that's got some agate in it. If I can find it, there's, see it right in there. A lot of the veins are showing on the end. All of these darker lines that look like cracks are actually agate. That is one awesome piece. Good size too. I love this piece. This one's mostly agatized. It is just cool. Alright, now I'll move on to some of those calcite pockets. This one is just too cool. That crystal structure is just perfect. And then here's that bigger piece. So cool. It's got these 
crazy bubbly, almost like stalactite formation. Really, really cool, but I have no idea what it is. It might just be another form of calcite, but I'm not sure. It is very cool. So we've got this big, again, an Enoceramus clamshell, which actually has some good color, but again, my camera is not showing it up for some reason. And then on the back side, we can see one gorgeous baculite. Those sutures are just so pronounced on this one. That is one beautiful little piece. And then here are some of the Montana agates. I love this piece right here. All those stripes. That is just a cool agate. Gonna look very cool, I think. And then here's one. It's little, but it's got such a cool lace pattern on it. Very pretty. Yeah, too cool. And then there's this one. Which again, little, but it's just so pretty stripes. If you don't know what you're looking for, you would never know that this is a Montana agate right here. It looks kind of just like a dull dark rock, but when I get a flashlight under it, that is going to be a pretty agate. Really dark. And here's another nice one. Again, may not look like much, and then you get a light under it, and it's got some really nice deep color pockets in it. And this one has such cool patterning on it. Look at this. All those stripy bands, it's just awesome. And then there's a nice little quartz pocket on the end, and more of those spots. And great color. Yeah, that's a pretty agate. Alrighty, now let's move on to some of the bigger ones. Alrighty. I believe this is a jasper, but there's a grain in it, so I could be wrong. This could be agonized wood, but I honestly am not sure. It's got some really, really cool texture on it, though. But yeah, you can see those red marks almost look more like wood grain, so I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. Then there's this big jasper. Got some great yellows and reds in it. This is a perfect slabber. And here is such a nice piece of petrified wood. Look at the size of this chunk. Really nice. Good size. All right, now let's move on to the nice agates. So here's this one, nice crystal pocket, and some banding, nice really dark color. Here, get it wet, get a light under it. Look at how rich the color is in this thing. That is a very nice agate. It's gonna be very, very pretty. And that color is so dense, this flashlight doesn't even shine through it. <laughs> Man, this is just so cool. I've never seen an agate like this before. It's definitely an agate though. I don't know if the light shows it very well, but really weird shape, but when you get a light up on it, you can see it's, it's definitely an agate. It even has dendrites and clear pockets it's just so cracked up that it doesn't look like a normal agate and here is what is probably the nicest agate of the day this one right here has a nice big chunky agate here, I'll get it wet it's got a nice crystal pocket in it great seams and banding and some dendrites Ah, this thing is just awesome. Love it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, 
I was super curious about something, so I took two of those agates and thin sliced them and polished them. There's one, here's the other. So I was curious to see what would happen and let me show you. Look at this. Oh, iris agate. It's so pretty. Full rainbow spectrum. I'm only going to be able to show a little bit because the light keeps trying to wash out my camera. But look at how pretty that is. Look at how gorgeous that is. Alright, well I think that's going to do it for this one. I still just can't believe how amazing that day was. We got into such awesome stuff and what a variety of amazing stuff we got into. And again, I collected more than I normally would because I'm going to be returning the bounty to you guys. So definitely keep an eye out as we get closer. I will make a video saying how to enter yourself into the giveaway and I'll be showing what the potential prizes are going to be so yeah i will touch more on that as we get closer but as for this one that's going to do it thank you guys so much for watching uh go ahead and like and subscribe if you think i deserve it and yeah i will see you all soon seriously i'm so excited about these <laughs> If any of my other YouTube rock hounding friends come across any of these, know that you 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 know someone who would love them very much. <laughs>